Hey, my name is Dave Radford. I am a passionate traveler as well as a pilot. And I'm going to marriage the two together this year and travel over to the continent of Africa to the country of Botswana to try to become a Botswana Air Safari pilot. Hey guys, it's Dave Radford here from NBTV Today, Botswana bound, on location, at Kakanaka Airstrip. Got a little bit of a problem. Obviously on landing I hit one of the holes in the airstrip and my oleo flattened and completely depressed. The oils all come out of the oleo. I was supposed to take off from here empty and then go on to Kwai River Lodge to pick up two people for an ongoing international flight with Air Botswana. That's obviously not going to happen. So I've radioed other aircrafts up in the air and found someone who's got two empty seats who can go in and pick up those two people to make sure they make their international flight. So here on the airship, I'm going to show you the holes that I've dealt with that have caused this oleo problem, and then we'll look at the oleo itself. I'm now waiting for communication from the office to find out if I can take out of here, take off out of here empty, back to mount, by just keeping the nose wheel off the ground with a lot of pressure back on the control column. I don't think it's a problem, but I want to make sure I get to go ahead from the office before I do something like that. Take a look at these holes that I had to deal with coming in. Okay, so you've seen the holes that cause the oleo depression or depletion and the oil to spurt out of it. Let's take a look at the oleo itself. So there's the oleo completed the pressed and the oil on the wheel as well as on the ground. So I've just gotten confirmation via radio from the office that as long as I feel safe about it, I can take off out of here and go straight back to Mound. We're in Northern Air Maintenance. The maintenance company that handles all the Cephani aircraft can take care of this problem. And then if there's any more flying this afternoon, I can get back up in the air and continue. So let's get out of here at Kukanaka Airstrip and head direct back to Mound. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, it's Brian Knight at Baboon there Villa! Woo! Woo How's it? Good. Simon! How you doing, bro? Oh, Simon! Hello, how's it? How are you doing? Who puts brandy in the freezer? That's what I want to say on camera. Dude, because it stays cold. No. Charlie, how are you doing? Welcome to Brian Knight at Baboon Villas. Cat, welcome to Baboon Villas, Brian Knight. Lou, the newest occupant of Baboon Villas. How's it going? Shuffle. Shuffle. Not too bad. No, 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 your hockey rules, but the rest of the look can be sus. Hey, watch it. Hey, guys. Gwen. 
Good, How are you? Good, sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Here we have Hugo. He's drunk and he's flying in a few hours. How about flying tomorrow? Not much to say after you crashed the plane last week. Look, I'm even drinking some bubble in there. That is that is Hugo Tor. Hugo Tor for Salango Air. So it's just again. because you got caught out last time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the reason we call it Baboon Villas, the famous baboons. <laughs> so, uh, it is that good, just because you're in it.